In this video, I'll show you how to add a lean-to roof to your drawing. I'll demonstrate how to select a type of roof, then choose a specification and configuration. I'll talk you through the points to click on to draw the roof. Finally, I'll explain how to use the extra items window to add items such as ceiling and downpipes. If you want to draw an apex roof, take a look at the video of that name. Start by going to the architectural tab and clicking on the roofs button. Then select a type of roof. I'm going to use the cold trust roof on this occasion. The roof component builder pops up. From here you can choose the specification and type or configuration of roof and enter its dimensions. Start by choosing a specification which suits your job based on the centres of the timbers and the thermal performance you're looking for. Click on a specification to select it and then click next. The next screen prompts you to select the type of tiles you want to use from a range of plain tiles, pan tiles, natural slates, interlocking tiles and fibre cement slates. In the filter drop down box select the type of tiles you want to use. Then click on the tile specification you want to use on the left of the window. You can click anywhere on the picture or description of the specification to select it. On the right hand side of the window you'll see the specified main tile eaves tile, hip ridge tile and so on, as appropriate for the tile system you've selected. Once you're happy with the specified tiles, click next. If there are multiple tile assemblies for your selected tile, you'll then be prompted to select the tile assembly you want to use. In the case of this tile, there are options for dry fix or mortar bedded systems, either with or without sarking board. Click on the assembly you want to use and then click next. The next screen prompts you to select a type or configuration of roof. I'm going to select Lean To for this example. You can click on the icon or the radio button to select the roof type, then click Next. The next screen asks you to enter the dimensions of the roof. I'm going to enter a pitch of 30 degrees. Review the other details, remembering that you can press the Tab key to move between the input boxes. The soffit, fascia and bargeboard dimensions are greyed out because they are determined by the resources defined in the specification. To change the soffit width or the height of the fascia or bargeboard, click the adjacent swap button and select an alternative resource. The relevant dimension will then be updated to match the newly specified resource. Once you're happy with the roof dimensions, click next. The final screen of the Roof Component Builder allows you to tweak the resource allowances for the tiles and trusses if applicable. Scroll across to check you're happy with the figures, updating any as needed. Then click Finish. Building Works is now ready to draw the roof. There are four steps to drawing a roof. Follow the on-screen instructions which will guide you through the process. The first instruction tells you to click on any wall that the roof is on. Zoom into the area of building where you're adding the lean to by placing your cursor in the area and scrolling the mouse wheel towards the screen. Building Works will take the wall plate height from the wall you click on. I'm going to click on the rear wall of the projection. The next instruction tells you to click on the outer corner to indicate the width of the building. In the case of a lean to roof, the width of the building means the gable end. The first point you click on is at the bottom of the slope of the gable. I'm going to click on this end of the lean-to, as we can easily see the inner corner of the projection here as well. The next instruction tells you to click on the second corner to indicate the width of the building, so I'm now going to click on the inner corner of the projection. Finally, the instruction tells us to click on the opposite corner to indicate the length of the building. You can click on either corner to give the length, it doesn't matter whether it's at the top or the bottom of the gable. I'm going to click on this corner, as it's the easiest snap point to locate. After a few moments, the lean-to roof appears on the drawing as a series of red lines. If we take a look at the 3D model, we can check that the roof has been drawn correctly. Click on the 3D model tab. Place your cursor over the 3D model. Click and hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse to drag the model around. I can see that my lean-to roof is looking as I want it to. Now click on the Extra Items tab 
to see all of the extra items you can add to the roof, including ceiling, roof accessories and bracing. First I'm going to add insulated ceiling to the lean-to roof. Click the draw button underneath insulated ceiling and the instructions prompt you to draw the ceiling. Click around the inside of the projection to place the ceiling. Note that the first two points will place the ends of the joists. Find and click the snap points on three corners of the ceiling. And then press the S key to complete the ceiling. Please note that you can later change the direction of the joists by going to the Properties tab and using the Joist Length Segment setting. Now I'm going to add a rainwater pipe to serve the lean-to roof. Click on the plus sign next to the roof rainwater goods and click the draw button under rainwater downpipe. A dialog box pops up asking you to enter the length of the downpipe. Type in the length of the downpipe and then click OK. The instructions now prompt you to place the symbol. Click the left mouse button to place the rainwater pipe symbol. The instructions then prompt you to select the rotation of the item. Hold down the shift key and move the cursor to the right. The initials RWP will appear the right way up. Click again to confirm the rotation of the pipe. You can also add rainwater fittings by entering the number you need on the extra items window. Now save your project. Over to you. Add a lean-to roof to your drawing. Go to the Architectural tab, click the Roofs drop-down menu and select a roof type. Choose a specification which suits your job, then select the lean-to roof configuration. Enter the pitch of the roof and review the other dimensions before checking the roof truss allowance. Follow the on-screen instructions to tell Building Works which wall the roof is on and to indicate the width and length of the roof. Finally, add any extra items you need, such as ceiling and rainwater downpipes, using the options on the Extra Items tab.